Hey man, I'm Chris with Bonecats, and here are some pro tips for Adventure Time Card Wars. Okay, so card drops in this game are random, but you, there's a way to know what cards you can possibly get from which characters you're playing. Um, this vid's sponsored by Fright Fight on iOS. It's kind of like Smash Bros, but finally for mobile. So scope that out. And a super shout out to Board Game Geek, that whole community, as well as this dude, Jeremy, who kind of has been like the, the center gatherer for all this data. So yeah, I'll post the full list in the description. Uh, the YouTube video description as well as a link to the forum post for this thread since a lot of y'all have been asking that. But here's how it goes. Like, if you're playing Finn on level 1, the only card that you can get from him is a Corn Dome. So that's like the level 1 card that you can only get. Uh, no matter how many times you play him, you're only going to get that card as of right now. And unless there's like an update that changes things. And we'll go to the very, very opposite. If you're playing Ice King, his algebraic rare, which can drop, it's five stars, so strong, is the ultimate magic hands. And I had been grinding for that and finally got it. That's, uh, if you look at 90, you're also gonna be getting a lot of unempty coffins, detective bobbies, and cerebral bloodstorms. And I can definitely testify to that. Like those are accurate drops. But I hope this huge list helps you out with this and the card forge. Um, this is how you're gonna actually gonna be able to make cards. Your deck size is gonna need to be big because one of the things that I need is like seven of one card that's hard to make. But anyways, um, I'm still into this game. Like, it's just so hard to make cards. It might be too hard. Anyways, we'll keep this bit short. I hope this list helps you build a dope deck that's not all corn. Thanks for watching. Bone Cats.